Good afternoon, everyone. I'm here to talk about Quebec Precious Metals Corporation. We're a TSXV company focusing on gold, focusing on Quebec, focusing in an area which is a new ABTB, uh, which is called the James Bay region. Forward located statements. So this is a new gold explorer in the James Bay region of Quebec. And it was created by combining two companies, Canada Strategic Metals, Matamec Exploration. The transaction closed at the end of June of 2018 with the support of Gold Corp that operates the Eleanor Gold Mine in the area and the support also of other shareholders. Our flagship project is the Sakami project, which has been known for a number of years, but was not under 100% ownership, now it is. About 20,000 meters of drilling has been done. We believe there's a multi-million ounce potential there to be the next LRO mine in the region. Together with that, we have a highly prospective package in the region, totaling 909 square kilometers. Our strategy is obviously to advance Sakimi, but also to fully assess the other land that we have under a very strong team supported by very good shareholders. Right now, uh, we have a market cap of about $12 million, 44 million shares that uh, have been issued as part of the transaction. Uh, we trade around 26, 27 cents today. Uh, we have, as I mentioned, Gold Corp as our major shareholder that supported the transaction. They see this as a real opportunity to find and undermine uh, of the type that have been mining since 2014 that was discovered in 2004 by a company called Virginia. Management and board has 11%, Caisse de Depot, Quebec's largest pension fund, around 10%, and also Investment Quebec, around 3%. The team, I'm a George Cohn engineer, born and raised in Montreal, many years in the industry, many years with PricewaterhouseCoopers. Uh, been back in Quebec, most of the last 10 years involved in junior mining, largely in Quebec. Jean-Francois Meilleur comes from Canada Strategic, lots of experience with uh, financing of projects in Quebec and elsewhere. Jean-Sébastien Lavallée and Jean-Raymond Lavallée have been involved with the Sakami project for many years, and uh, they know a lot about the exploration in the area. Part-time CFO, Nathalie Lerain. John Hick, lots of experience in mining, has run companies, has helped create Placer Dome years ago, has lots of experience in Quebec as well. And finally, Michel Gauthier, who has known James Bay area, where we're operating for many years as part of the discovery team. Uh, with Virginia back in 2004 of the Eleanor Gold Deposit. James Bay is a large territory. In fact, the correct name is EUHG, James Bay region, uh, a region where the Cree uh, live and the Cree territory is. A uh, great relationship has been established by companies working in the area, in particular Gold Corp, uh, with their mine. In fact, Gold Corp has one of their board members who is a Cree chief. Uh, we have uh, in the area good access through the uh, Quebec Hydro Dam's road system. Those roads have been built to withstand a lot of weight. Uh, when the turbines were transported in the area, when it was built in the 70s, it could support a 400 ton uh, load. Uh, and there's power, obviously. You can land at the mine. So uh, good infrastructure, which means you can operate all year round and you don't need, uh, in many places, that much helicopter or um, cam support. The um, area is characterized by a very long and extensive contact between sediments and volcanics of two groups, La Grande and La Pinaca. And that contact uh, is driving where you do your goal exploration. In the area we're working on that point target part of the second project, uh, mineralization was discovered in the early 2000. And until 2017, not a lot of systematic drilling was done. That was started before a transaction, which drilled over an area that identified over a 700 meter length down plunge to, from surface to 450 meter in open in all direction zones. In fact, there are two zones. You see some of the significant gold grades and the type of drill width that we have. And there are many more gold ore cancers to be um, identified over a 10 kilometer strike length. And a section, this is what it looks like in red, recent holes and gray pass holes. You can see it's open in both directions. And if you 
uh, go the other way along a long section, you can trace that for at least 800 meters now. In there, we could do a f resource estimate today. Um, we believe we want to make that a bigger estimate before we release it. There's a 43-101 report compiling all the information that was done as part of the transaction. And uh, we want to uh, extend that. Also, at the same time, test the many other targets that are in the area. So talking about the other targets, uh, soil anomalies are very effective to identify areas of mineralization. Number of trenches, chip samples have been done of this area. You can see some of the grades are quite high. We're now, after a field visit uh, with Gold Corp and working sessions with them, finalizing the drill program and the work we're going to do to better understand the mineralization controls in the area. And we're planning to announce that over the next few weeks to, again, start drilling and over the next 12 to 18 months, confirm the presence of a resource of a significant size that could be of interest to uh, people that want to buy or acquire such resource. So why invest in the company, in QPM, in Quebec Precious Metals? Because we'll have time and exploration drilling results from the flagship project to advance it to the mineral and resource estimation stage. Uh, we have potential for many other discoveries through a large land package we have in the area. We have a very strong uh, strategic investor in Gold Corp and also the case of Depot in Quebec. We have a strong team and we have money also, $4 million in hard cash in the bank. This is what I wanted to say this morning or this afternoon, I'm sorry, it's been a long day. Uh, pleasure to be here with you in New York. I'm happy to uh, talk to you uh, about the company after this presentation. Thank you for your attention.